Um, please don't say any more about Dollar Water down Delaware Creek. Um, the issues, that, you know, again, it's about the drainage, it's about the volume of water going into Delaware Creek, Tree Creek, and the deforestation um, and the fill that's going onto people's property and the drainage that's being circumvented onto other people's property um, from the, and I think Chris referred to some of those properties. Um, one, I have to go back to the Hogs property because, you know, I have a picture here from 09 that you can see not much of anything that is developed. And yet, here's a picture from yesterday that still shows a huge mound of dirt back in there where that is already supposed to have been taken care of off the board, no more development, and yet we're seeing earth move at quite large, um, uh, m you know, hills and mountains of dirt, all right? This is also taking place along Cradle Avenue, okay, which is again uh, another place that it seems like there's the, the thinning of trees is happening um, back in the north end of that property, the north northeast of that property. Um, there are mounds of dirt being put in, little mounds of dirt that are Those being put in. Those have been there for a long time. Well, the, they've been there and they've, they, they're, these no, are I fresh ones. I understand where they are, I'm just saying. These they've are been fresh. there for a while. These are these these look like fresh ones, but no, and no, and well, if it isn't, I'm. I, I'm I, I live on beach. I have I a know. different problem. I know, Lenny. Yeah. Those mounds have been there for a while. Down Cradle Avenue. Yeah. And, and where, down well, at the end, where it, Cradle Beach used to be. Oh yeah, no, no, there. I'm not okay. talking about Cradle Beach. I, I'm okay. That I'm that sorry. property, you're right. You. That property was a lot lower. It has been filled in, and some of that fill came from the houses across the street, um, but. But the, what I'm talking, if you travel down Cradle Avenue, you will see oh, mounds and mounds and mounds of dirt all along the way. And then you get to the end of Cradle Avenue, and once again, there are mountains of dirt that circumvent the tree line along there. Now again, this is where we've had increased water with absolutely no oversight um, being diverted back down into our corner of, of uh, you know, of. Um, of the properties along um, the end of Hickory, the end of Albyville, the end of Lake Street. Um, end of Crickery, Hickory Road, people I have more and more standing water in there because there's more and more um, water coming down. On Lake Street, we've got comparisons of drainage sizes, okay, uh, from just a few years ago, and then back even further, you know how long back I've gone, because this is deja vu. I'm bringing it to your attention, and nothing gets done. Nothing gets done. And, and it's happening all over again. There's mounds of dirt being brought in, don't know where it's coming from, don't know why it's going there. And, and in the meantime, you know, um, the you drainage comes the in. I'm, I'm talking to about the drainage. This is the drainage in there, right? Yeah, but you're so. saying about the piles of dirt. I have no control over piles of dirt. <clears throat> okay. you, if you have an issue with piling and mounting, it's off the radio, and it's all over there. Okay, well, that's what I was talking about was the increased flow of water coming down well, onto our properties from all, all yeah. other things. But it looks like there's more development and more trees being taken down, and yet we, you know, there's nothing that's being said about any plan, any speedies, any. Uh, is there any speedies active in the town? Is there? Is there? I, That's all. I, I, me, Sorry. I've mentioned it to um, Paul several times and actually met him out there. A couple of times he's actually stopped people from doing work. I think if you take a chronological uh, set of pictures from Google Earth over the years, you'll see the progression. That's, those pictures aren't going to lie. Mm -hmm. So the moral of the story is to tell your building inspector I have, but when the damage is done, what do you do with the watershed? That's the problem, mm. in my opinion. Mm. And the issue for us is not only the property on the east side of, you know, that I own on the east side of, of Lakeshore Road, but on the west side of Lakeshore Road, you know, uh, Delaware Creek, it's just being gouged out 
from below and you talk about sinkholes and washing away of, of um, mm -hmm. seawalls mm -hmm. this is happening it's because of the volume and the velocity of the water of the increased drainage that's not the solution you've got to take care of it mm -hmm. above or before it hits mm -hmm. there um, because nothing is being done and this has been decades and I see deja vu all over again I fished Delaware Creek years ago a long time mm -hmm. and I'm out with a lot of property managed it for 56 acres of land, right? And I took out bags of debris, garbage. Every time garbage day comes around, the day after garbage day, everything comes down that creek. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it's coming from, but up above, off of Howell Road, where Delaware Creek comes through there, mm -hmm. there's a facial from the bridge. It's probably three foot, came down. And it's laying across. It, it came down into Delaware Creek. And it's it's blocking most of the flow. So any flow up above that comes up. And then I, I've been back in Delaware Creek. You talk about a flash flood. It sounds like a, a hurricane coming through. A wall of ice and then just everything. There's people down off the lake damming it up, boarding it up, diverting it, and that causes a lot of backwater. Back, everything rises, and then you get a sudden drop, something breaks loose, and it drops and it flushes everything out. I got trapped back in there. So I know about the other work, right? So funny. <laughs> I life. posted it. <laughs> yeah. Pretty only. That's off of Lake, Lake Street. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know, again, it's, you know, the damage is being done and there has been little remediation in, in terms of it and it just seems like this is happening all over again. So the, the water, the drainage is still increasing, the, the, um, the ditches have, have grown in size and the volume of water continues to, to rise. And it's, you know, whatever it's happened to that meeting a while back, a couple of years ago, with the federal level of watershed and all that, whatever, that person came and disappeared. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because one of the things that I know that I think you had mentioned about the property across the street over here, well, back in the, in the 90s, I was at um, a couple of quite a few meetings about a person who wanted to develop right in the back side of Beach Road. Where are you, right? Are you right here at Beach Road and Route 5? We're at five? the bottom of the hill. Bottom of the hill? Right. Okay, well, right back in <laughs> here. And, and the they were denied <coughs> any development because <coughs> that's a watershed. That was a watershed right back there. And this well, is what I'm Cradle saying. Beach. Why are you and it's, the, no, right yeah, well, Cradle right Beach, the back side well, of Cradle Beach, not the lake side of Cradle Beach, the back side. Like behind where your house is. Yes, yeah, and that was, they was they were never able to develop that. That's. They and took the logs out of there, yes. Right. Why? How did they get the logs out? Well, How? because they, they own the property and they, they can take their logs if they want to. There's a, there's, there's. Well, they did. I know. Okay. That's, that, and that's what I'm talking about with the, with there's got to be oversight. This, this, we have brought this to your attention before over and over again throughout the whole development of this property and it still continues to go on without anything being done. That's always been wet down there. It's always been of water yeah, down there it is but now it's being drained off and it's being drained I, off and diverted and that's the problem that part. my sister I, lives there and yeah she has a big issue with the water yeah i mean again she built an island again my position here is is the town's right away all these issues that you're bringing up just beyond me it's the building department the planning board mm -hmm. and the town board i mean and i'm not trying to you know, divert it, but I, I don't have any any say on what goes on there. So I just suggest you go to the planning board. Yeah, because that's when the project starts. Yeah. Mike, how's Mike? Oh, it's up to me already. Geez, that list is going fast. Okay. I'm here in regards to uh, 18, 18 Lakeshore Road. Um, Marie and Chris and this gentleman over here just spoke about uh, Fern Brook. Um, which is at the town level. Um, so I'm here for those concerns with the future development coming up here with the Mickey Red site. Yes. Um, first and foremost, I'm looking to find out what your particular involvement, Ed, was with that grant that the town received. Um, 
with redesigning Fernbrook um, when they did this last year. Unfortunately, I wasn't involved with it. I didn't. It makes two of us. Uh, it's a town project that they didn't send any notification to any residents, you know, on something that was so close to a, a residence. You, you think they would have known? Uh, I have reached out to the supervisor, and that's why I'm here today because the supervisor directed me to you. So um, <laughs> that's why I was, I'm here today. My involvement so, was they approved. I, I never saw the original design. I'm not an engineer. So, as, so as I the czar of drainage, you were never involved no, in any activity. I, according let me finish. I was, after they started the project, I was asked. To go down there and inspect whatever the specifications were, was were to be done, and okay. that's what I did. Okay, um, but I, I know nothing about it whatsoever. Okay, but my concern, one point, I have my one question that I had for the town um, was what exactly did they do in the park um, according to that pipe? So we have there's a secondary pipe. You've been involved in the town for a long time. Yeah. So when, oh Jesus, what the hell? Did the project underneath the road there on Church Road? What the hell is the name? Of it? Uh, sure. Al Dalmerall did oh, yeah, the yeah. major project to divert Fernbrook underneath Old Lakeshore Road in 1986, 85, somewhere in that range. Uh, that was a, that was supposed to defer that water that was coming through this secondary pipe out that way, according to the supervisor at that time. Now I believe that you were still involved with the town there, even though I was a baby. Right. Thanks. Uh, I was a young buck then, <laughs> but uh, my concern is that I'm not sure what the town actually did with this project. Now they put some swales in there with some nice caps and some things. Now the water's still going to flow into this secondary pipe that technically runs to my property. So uh, what is the town doing? Um, what did that grant? You know, they did some things. I'm not sure. If, they're not stopping the flow of water. They're not. They're never going to stop the flow of water. Now, as this pipe, Fernbrook, runs underneath the town, underneath the Lakeshore Road, through the parking lot, and with this development happening, I believe the town should be on top of this with future development. Now, uh, John here just said that they're going to try to leave it standalone. I've seen the drawing. Uh, I don't see a retention pond. I don't see anything like that even listed on anything right now. Um, I Where would you put it? I, exactly. Under the parking lot. Uh, no, under the parking lot. I understand this completely. but. My concern is if the town tried to stop the flow of water, secondary water, out of Fernbrook as it wise, then why wouldn't they try to cap the whole thing? Now, the town is responsible for digging this out occasionally, like you said, you're down there occasionally. And we used to be able to do that quite a bit, but now years ago, DC, uh, you can't touch anything. Years like ago, they used to do it all the time. Mr. Zanet would call yep. every week. Well, Mr. Zanet sold his property. They don't call. Now, not you, but the town as a whole has been negligent in doing that. Now, it seems to me there's no need to do it. So is the town going to cap this off in the future? Uh, what, is their, what is their plan to do with this Fernbrook? And again, I'm not trying to divert extra water to uh, Delaware Creek. I'm not, I, I hate to bring it up, but we have a flow of water issue there that stems not only from the town, but the county. And you have culverts at Iroquois, all across Connors, and you get past Connors a couple of properties that water does not run to you it runs back and where does it really go is my question is where does that water go does it seep in the ground because there's not with all the rain that we get we don't get that much water to come out of that pipe um, and the point of the, the, me being here is that you know when they did this grant and they had all this money and now they put some fencing down and but they didn't address the major issue of Fern Brook mm -hmm. uh, it seems like they just put some things in the park they use some money for concrete in the tunnel. Now that water in the tunnel of the park, where does that drain? It's got to all drain back into the secondary pipe, which still is still the problem. And uh, I don't think they, they've caused more problems than, you know, they, they didn't solve anything, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. So uh, why I'm here is really just to address this issue with you, to keep you notified. Um, I would like some sort of uh, notification uh, by yourself or by the town. Um, when they're, you know, as far as drainage is concerned with this, I know they're going to have to go through the, the, the SWIP and all the other stuff, and, and this is a major thing, uh, but if you end up paving a parking lot that's been stone and sand and grit, that's the yeah. there's going to be huge runoff here, and where's it going to go? And it's going to come at my property. That doesn't make any sense. And at the end of the day, uh, I've done, my family's done water testing on that from Brook. It's not safe. It's not, it's disgusting. 
and it shouldn't be going out to anybody's property, let alone Delaware Creek or any of you for your property. But you know, a development like this uh, needs to be addressed in, in certain stages, and I hope that you're involved with this a little bit or poke oh, your nose into it uh, because that Fernbrook is obviously the town has assumed liability for it. They understand what it is, and that's specifically why I'm here. I mean, those other concerns with the county, I know that you'd have to work with the county with that, and, and I am well aware of that. But uh, my, my major concern was trying to find out, you know, what the town has actually done with this. Is there, now you, you did mention uh, briefly about them doing another the pipe over at Delaware. Was that part of that original bid, or is that a separate entity? The pipe that comes under Lake from, Street? Uh, yeah, Ochino was. Yeah, that this? was. What do you mean a separate entity? That was supposed to be a whole, you know, whole new piece of It was all supposed to be done with that, too. So, uh, like I said, I, I wish I would have had more knowledge of when the town did the grant. You know, hey, great. They got, a grant, they got a grant to do some nice I, things. I, I don't need to be involved in it. I don't but. think the grant money was involved with that pipe on Lake Street. That was something the county was going to be doing. That what was pipe on, on, on Lake their own. Street? What pipe on Lake Street? It goes out under Lake Street. It comes out from around the bend. Correct. It's where those people live on the corner of Solid Road. It, um, Chris was talking about it. When it's they, a big 24 or 30 inch. The one that goes under Lake Shore Road? Yeah, it comes under Lake yeah, Shore. Lake Shore. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It comes yeah. under the corner, but it's all it's getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. So my suggestion is, uh, you know, is the town going to come up with a schedule to either maintain this better long term? What is the solution to it? You're gonna if you do create more drain. I mean, you're gonna swell across. You're gonna take my property right up. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just uh, bought this property. No, I lived there for four years. Oh, four so, years. So okay. I, I, it doesn't look that old. I, <laughs> my family's owned it for 40, 50, 50 years. Okay. Forty years. But so uh, they knew about this beforehand. Well, well Fernbrook was there, but then it was diverted to Adela Cook, and then was taken out, and then that project, and and now they've repiped it down the road. Uh, I mean, you've seen it right yeah. in your four wheeler down there. Um, I'm, so sure. Times. I'm, so, sure. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you've yeah. seen it. So, There's pipes very, that come no, out on the lake shore all I, the way I, down. I've, 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 washed, I've, I've, I've walked that pipe when I was a kid, so I know what it is. But I think it's a huge liability for the town on top of that that runs underneath residential property. And if you have oh, another yeah. collapse of some sort, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Mm -hmm. I mean, God forbid, I mean, thank God that, you know. And then what did, the, what did, Mickey, what did Mickey Vance do? When they fixed that, now I've heard they went in there and just poured concrete and stuff. I, you know, I don't know. Now that creates another issue for you, who's trying to maybe solve a drainage issue. Mm -hmm. And if the new development doesn't address anything, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and That's I saw them doing some core samples, so I'm, ass I'm assuming they're aware. Oh, so you're by where that pipe so, comes so, out, and all that yeah, drainage yes. comes through that yeah. pipe. So it, it'll be, I'll be interested to see what they ultimately do. But um, I just want to know what kind of involvement you're going to have in this, and. and I'm not trying to raise a storm, but sure. uh, it, eventually it's going to be an issue, and I think the town needs to address it sooner than later. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. if people want to start wrecking, hitting the wrecking ball of the stuff, and development happens, and uh, you know, Chris alluded to it, hey, you know, there's processes that move way quicker than they should in environmental studies and impacts. You know, this is a, a lengthy process that should be. There should be more information. That's, that's given to people and uh, so we're aware of what's going Well, and if I can just jump in for one so, second, we were guaranteed by the super I you were right. supervisor that we would have the chance she would show us the new projects coming in. First of all, all the rules have changed as far as development. You can let less water go this year than you could 10 years ago. So it's important to see those calculations and they don't get overseen. And I think that's what he's indicated. Share that information with us, okay? Hold them accountable to what the rules are. Maybe some places in the town haven't been held accountable. Doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean we can't do it now. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what I'm looking